Hey everybody, it's Billy P, the bilateral amputee. I hope you're having a beautiful day. Today is Friday and it's beautiful outside for now. Let's do a little storming later on, I do believe. But uh, it's the end of the work week, at least it is for me. I hope it is for you. And uh, I hope you've been remembering your safety training you had before you go back to work. You know, make sure you, you got all that on your mind still. And keep it right there in your pocket. It's gonna save your life. Maybe even save a limb one day, you never know. But anyway, today, which is something I think is pretty cool. Uh, you know, I've had this same setup for about 13 years, these arms, and uh, I use these hooks. These electronic terminal devices, ETDs, for absolutely everything, you know. And uh, I have uh, some new hands I've been working with, practicing with. And it's called an ILM quantum hand. I have a couple of them. I have a right and left. And, uh, you know, the biggest problem I've found so far for me is the line of sight. You know, I can see everything around this hook. No matter what I pick up or whatever, I can see everything. I can, you know, I, have no, I can't feel, so I have to be able to see what I'm doing. And around this hook, I can see everything. The ILM, the only fault that I've seen is that I can't see through the hand. I have to kind of look at what I'm doing, look around and things like that. So that's about, uh, for now, for me, that's about the only fault I've seen in it so far. But other than that, it's been a pretty cool hand, pretty cool hand and learning how to use it in Vancouver. So uh, pretty awesome. I'm gonna show you how to do a couple things with it today. But uh, anyway, like I said, I've been using these uh, hooks, you know, and one of, the, one of the easiest things I can show you how I do right now is uh, how I hold a drill. You know, and uh, with the hooks, I'm gonna show you how much easier it is with this e e this uh, hand here in a minute. With the hooks, this is usually how I hold it. I'll just, you know, I'm gonna give you a little rundown how these things work again. These arms, uh, they're a uh, they work off electric and body powered. The electric for me, when I slide into these things in the morning, I have sensors that land on my bicep and I have sensors that land on my tricep. All I do is flex my bicep or my tricep muscle to make these hooks work to open and close. So I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a tricep, both arms. I can open them. I'm gonna do a bicep, both arms. I'm gonna close them. I'm gonna do a bicep. I'm gonna make these things spin, the wrist rotator spin. And the way to do that, I'm gonna flex my bicep and hold it, both arms. You see how they spin? That's bicep. I'm gonna do the same thing with tricep. Tricep, both arms. Tricep, both arms. That's how they work, man. Tricep, and bicep work out pretty good. Now the elbow for me, both both arms are body powered. I use my body to uh, on my on my left. I use my body to unlock. See the thing on the big silver piece on the elbow? That's a lock. That's a manual lock for this arm. All I do is shrug my shoulders. I can lock it, unlock it, lock it. Put the arm where I need to put it. This one over here, right here, is a little switch. Right there. All I do is hit it with my chin. It's a little bump switch. It unlocks. It's got an electric elbow over here. Where this one's manual, this one's electric elbow. But it just unlocks that elbow and I can move it forearm up and down either way I want. But that's how they work. Pretty easy for me after 13 years. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna show you how I, use, how I hold a drill with these hooks and how I use it. And you're gonna be able to see how I'm all out of whack. My shoulders are all out of whack and everything. It just, it's, it's not comfortable, you know? I mean, a lot of things aren't comfortable, but you know, being out of whack, for so long and doing it over and over again can actually hurt you, it can wear things out. So I gotta be careful, especially in amputee, you got to be careful on uh, doing things over and over and over again all out of whack like this. I'll show you, let me show you. I've done a lot of drilling, don't get me wrong now. This is how I hold it. I can choke it down, up, down a little bit or up a little bit. That's how I hold it. It's very hairy, very uncomfortable for me right now. And then the, the other way, this is how I pull the trigger. So it takes both hands pull the trigger and hold it so I can drill no matter how I drill. You know, if I can say anything, the most important thing I can say is when you get ready to drill or use even small hand tools or anything at all, is that you're gonna need these. Right here, safety glasses. No matter what kind of hand tools you use, whether it be a drill, sawzall, it doesn't matter, always, always wear them safety glasses. They will protect your eyes. Keep that in mind. But you can see how all out of whack I am. Watch this. I'm gonna pick this thing up. Watch my shoulders and all. Then I gotta do this. And you see how my shoulders are already, this one's getting high and this one's getting low. You see I'm already out of whack. Even when I straighten this out, if I wanna drill a hole straight down, I'm still out of whack. You see, I'm just, I'm just out of whack. I can, I can do it. 
but I'm out of whack. And I don't want to be out of whack all the time. Been long enough. I've been out of whack uh, for a while now. <laughs> anyway, now I'm going to show you how I use this. Uh, I'm going to take these safety glasses back off. Just because I'm not really drilling anything. I'm just showing you how. But always, always you're wearing safety glasses. No matter what you're doing. Here we go. Uh, no matter what kind of small machines you're working with, big machines, always wear them safety glasses when you're working around things like that. But here we go. I'm going to take this uh, ETD off. You know, the way this thing works, uh, I'm going to cut it off right here after I open it up. i got to open it up to take it off. And then I'm going to just cut it off. Here's the off button. What that does, that cuts the ETD off from opening and closing. I can still spin it because the wrist rotator is separate than the ETD, so I can still spin it. And I have to spin it to take it off. But uh, I'm just going to hit it in there just a little bit just to get it to turn so I can pop it off. Just turn it one way until it, until it loosens and pops off. There we go. Got it off. That's how it works. Excuse me, I'm gonna grab a drink of water. All right. Got the eye limb hand here. As you can see, there's a screwdriver in there. And I'll tell you what that screwdriver is there in a minute. Give me just a second. I'm gonna show you how I put this on. Sometimes I'll just lay it on the bed and do the same thing. But all I do, I'll use my left arm. And that's the same thing with the ETD. I'll show you how I do that a little bit later when I put it back on. I'll just raise it up, get that wrist rotator in there, and just kind of ease down on it. And there it is. It's on there. Still turning. I got it turned off. But uh, the reason I got this screwdriver in here, that is actually how I take this hand off. Let me turn this hand on. This is on button for the button for the fingers. I'm going to turn it on so I can open this. Well, I haven't got it turned on yet. Thought it did. That might be it. Yeah, there it is. It's on. But when I take this off, the easy way, believe it or not, to take it off is just to leave it straight and put pressure on that thumb and just spin it. You know, until it pops off. But if I do that, it's going to break that thumb. You can't do that. You know what I mean? You can't keep doing that to to take the arm off. That I take the hand off. Eventually, it's going to break that finger, break that thumb. So what I do is I'll just grab a screwdriver or anything around. It's usually a screwdriver is what I use, and I'll slide it in there. Give me just a second. Got a little sweat, starting to act up a little bit. And as you can see, then I can just. take it off with the screwdriver there we go without risking tearing that thumb up on that hand these things are pretty expensive man you know you want to got to take care of them and I I don't care what anybody says you know everybody says there's no limits well I can tell you what things like this there are limits you know there's limits to what you can and cannot do these things are expensive and they are easy to break if you're not using them in the right way it's just that simple just how it is anyway I'm gonna show you how I do the uh, hold this uh, drill with this hand this eyelid hand now the way this eyelid hand works is there's a I'll uh, flex my tricep muscle and once I flex my tricep muscle I'm gonna hope it holds and I hold it this finger right here this four finger is gonna twitch once that finger twitches I can either move it to the right to the left forward or reverse to get a gesture that I have programmed in this thing. Now, I'm gonna do a one finger trigger gesture, which is what I'm gonna use, show you how I operate this drill like that. And I believe that is to the left. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna flex my tricep and hold it. And I'm gonna hold it, and while I'm holding it, this finger, this index finger, this forefinger is gonna twitch. And once it twitches, I'm gonna to move to the left. Here we go, I'm holding it, it twists, I'm moving to the left. All right, now watch this. The only fingers on this hand that are moving are the thumb and the three fingers. See them? That's the only ones that are moving. The three fingers and the thumb. The four fingers just staying there. So, here we go. That's the trigger finger. What I'm gonna do, I usually, uh, I'll lay it down. Now this here, I just learned over the course couple days on how to do all this. But uh, I'll lay it down. And I tell you what, man, the first time I tried this, I, I got frustrated quite a bit. You know, it, it's just part of it sometimes. You just get frustrated. It's just how it is. The, something I've noticed with this uh, 
with this uh, ILM hand too is when I do hold a drill or something like that, not all drills, but this drill in particular, is that I've got to take and reset this thumb back a little bit. Because if I don't, when that trigger finger closes, it hits that thumb and it keeps me from uh, pushing on that trigger all the way to really uh, be able to drill. But here we go. I moved the thumb for you. Let me get this thing over to the side so I can pick it up my hook. I'm gonna lift it up, put it in my hand there. I'm just gonna hold it, then I'm just gonna close all everything up. You can see how I close everything up. Everything's around the hand. Look at there, man. It looks so much better. It's more comfortable for me. It's I still feel the weight. You know, it's pretty heavy out there, but it's more comfortable. I'm not out of whack. Look here. I can even just hold my hand here if I want to drill. Watch this. Drill straight in. Look at that, how it works, right? Don't forget. If this was real, I'd be wearing these safety glasses right now, so keep that in mind. Always wearing safety glasses when you're working with hand tools, anything like that. But you see how it works, right? Just a trigger finger. I'm flexing my bicep, not doing nothing. Flexing my bicep, not doing nothing. And watch, I can do it real slow, or I can do it real fast. Pretty cool. But uh, that's how I drill now. That's how I've been drilling for the uh, last couple of days. We finished the job up yesterday, so it's... Actually, she finished it up more than I did, I guess you can say. I, I still need some practice. But hey, you know, it's, it's what it's all about. Just practice, 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 practice. You gotta wanna do it. I guarantee you that. You know, a lot of times I had to make myself do things. I, you know, I, I get so mad, though. I get so mad sometimes, so frustrated. I'm like, oh, God, I just wanna throw these arms to a wall. Because it can happen. You know what I mean? It's, it's just the way it is. You gotta realize. I had to realize for myself, I was learning to live again. I was learning to have, I was learning. I just, I had to learn to live again and I had to make some of it happen. I had to make it happen. I just want to live. So it is. Life is awesome. Anyway, especially when you can help people out. You know what I mean? That's even better. But uh, anyway, guys, uh, that's how I hold the drill. I'm going to show you another gesture I got in here, which I think is pretty cool. Oh, thumbs up. Hey, what's going on? But here we go. I'm going to open this back up. Let me open it up here. There we go. Now I'm gonna do another gesture for you. And what this gesture is for is just holding a can or a, a glass or anything like that, which I think is awesome. And I think the way it goes is, that one's to the left. I think this one is backwards. So I'm gonna flex my tricep, hold that flex. This finger's gonna twitch and I'm gonna move my arm backwards to get the, the gesture that I have in here. But here we go, I'm flexing my tri. It just twitched going back. Now watch this. Watch what finger moves. Just the pinky until I get ready to move the other ones, which is awesome. And what that does, watch this. It's just a bottle of water. Look at that. See, it holds, it keeps it from falling out. Totally awesome, man. Totally awesome. <laughs> I just love this stuff, man. It's pretty awesome learning how to do this. And once you get it down, gosh. You know, I've even shed tears because of this. It's just it's just part of it. You know, you get your bottle of water or, hey, you know, you might even have a, a favorite beverage you like to drink every now and again. Look at that. Works tremendously well. But here we go. I'm going to take a little sip. I'm gonna unlock this. I gotta, do, in order to, I can't reach it. So in order to get that sip, man, I'm gonna have to unlock this. There it is, and then I'm gonna have to raise this up. I can lock it in place and just hold it. Sit there. But look, see, just hold it. You can use a glass, anything you want. Pretty awesome stuff. But, uh. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that's pretty much what I want to show you today. I think it's pretty cool. I'm gonna go and take this eye limb back off. And I know I just showed you how I did the screwdriver thing, but I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna reset this thumb just so that thumb is out of the way a little bit. Set that screwdriver in there. Grab it with everything I got. All right. Oh, another thing about this hand, I don't know if I've ever, this arm, I never, don't know if I ever told you not, but this, uh, the elbow actually articulates 
out and in too. Look, watch this. I can come in, look at that, articulate in, or I can take it all the way out. Kind of looks weird. Side. So, but uh, it's pretty cool. I did that for a reason. I thought I'd be able to get to my butt a little bit better. And uh, come to find out, it really didn't help at all. But it comes in useful in a lot of other ways. So it's pretty cool. But uh, did I turn that off? I think I did. Turn that off. So I'm going to sit here and get this thing off here. But screwdriver works out great. You can probably use anything you need. Just, just don't use the hand or the thumb itself. I'm going to slide this other one on for you. There we go. Sometimes this takes a little longer getting the hook on, but hey. Kind of little. Sometimes you just got to use what you, your surroundings, you know. And that's what I do. There we go. Oh, look at that. Bam. It's on. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's what I want to show you today. I want to show you that uh, I'm excited about learning how to use it. And uh, I'll be bringing some more of these vids, man. I'm going to. I'm going to still show you how to do things with the hooks and my new eye limb hands. It's going to be pretty cool. Hey, man, everybody enjoy the weekend. And thank you so much for uh, checking the videos out and sharing them. They're helping a lot of people out. And I tell you what, if you really want to make yourself feel good, help somebody out. It's going to put a smile on your face. It's going to fill your heart up. It's going to be some good stuff, man. But anyway, uh, y'all stay you, stay positive, stay healthy, and be safe. Later.